Hi everybody, welcome back. Hope everybody's doing okay. Today, we're gonna have some fun. It's Sunday, so happy Sunday. And uh, in the words of uh, Queen Beandra, she always says Sunday fun day. <laughs> so I was at my desk, so I was working on some, some things. So I said, you know what? I'm going to um, come back with them with some paper crafting. You guys really seem to like uh, the video that I had done showing my uh, journals. So without um, wearing your patience real long, we're going to show you some paper crafting. Um, as I want to reiterate, I want to remind you, just to let you know, um, um, when it comes down to paper crafting, especially paper crafting too, other stuff I dabble in as well. But paper crafting um, is a wide range. You're talking about scrapbooking, um, card making, um, journaling, uh, anything along that line. Um, your, uh, the last time we talked about journaling, um, in our, uh, uh, planners. Thank you. <laughs> so it's wide range wide range so this is dedicated to those that have never done it don't know how to do it um and this is just going to be a sample just to like i said ignite you know your creativity um but there is a wide range of ideas on um the community is wide open on your um your youtube channels there's a whole lot of different things that you can you know check out to give you ideas on planning, scrapbooking, anything of that sort. Uh, Pinterest is top notch in that too. So I'm just gonna do the ABC version and very make it really simple, simplified as best I can. It's just, like I said, um, I've been doing this a long time and this is, I've just been, I've just, you know, gravitated to it. And this, it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. You know, a lot of people, biggest thing they say, um, they don't have the time to do it, but you know, um, you have to really love it. You know, once you get your feet wet, you know, and really start doing it, it'll just take off and pretty much just, just run. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of, um, some items just to give you an idea. And like I said, um, to simplify things, um, you can't go to your, your Hobby Lobbies and your Michaels and that kind of stuff, but, um, you can go as simple as, believe it or not, um, to the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree is a good start for um, building your um, items, you know, for using for, like I said, your scrapbooking and your planners and that kind of stuff and car making and that kind of stuff. So yeah, it, it, it can start as small as that. So I'm just gonna give you an idea of some things you can use. Um, and I think the last time we spoke, um, I did mention um, about when it comes down to uh, your planners and things like that. Um, one of the things that I like to use is, and I didn't bring everything out of my craft room. I'm just bringing like little bits of ideas that, you know, you can jumpstart your, your mind to like, oh, okay, I never thought about that. But um, like I said, the last time um, we talked about um, using stuff like um, I went to, and sometimes I go to the wallpaper store and um they believe it or not, when you go their sample books, they will give you their sample books for free because a lot of times they just, you know, they don't want it and just it builds up. So I try to get, and this is just one of them right here. And it has, let me see if I can pull back a little bit because I'm at my desk, guys. Excuse me. And a lot of times when I get them, I try to get the baby books because the baby books has um, like your Hello Kitty and all that kind of stuff that we tend to like um, as grown women. But that way the paper and stuff in here, you can use, and I'll just kind of skim through. I want to show everything, but it'll give you just an idea of the colors that's in here. And like I said, some of them you can find, um, believe it or not, like, like uh, Barbie and that kind of stuff. But let me see if I can find something that's definitely pink that you can just to kind of get an idea like this page right here and this is the kind of stuff that I use to incorporate in my um in my scrapbooking um like um also I do cards 
and I'll give you a few example of the ones that I have done as well too and that type of paper um, when you use it in your scrapbooking it is acid free and it will not harm your photograph so that's another another tip too so yeah that kind of idea that idea right there alone will be really you know open the doors to doing a lot of stuff and um, paper crafting also in paper crafting um, when you buy another idea too when you get your um, items when you go shopping to like a Ross Ross in Burlington your tags and stuff save your tags because these can be incorporated into your planners as well too your Hello Kitty tags, your Juicy tags, and things like that, you can incorporate them. I'm sorry, I'm trying to adjust my seats. <laughs> okay. um, you can incorporate them, your um, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse tags like that. These can be incorporated into uh, card making and stuff too. So like I said, I'm just giving you a little bit of uh, kisses of ideas, if you will. Um, there you go. Um, your, um, um, your containers, your um, products. That comes in boxes and stuff like that. I take some time and cut them out and use them in my um, in my um, planners as well too. So yeah, so don't discard your um, items like that too when you buy them. So yeah, they can be incorporated because a lot of times we're not thinking of it like that too. But you know, it can be it can be used. Um, stickers definitely big 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 plus when it comes down to paper crafting. Um, like I said, you can go to Dollar Tree anywhere and find stickers. So stickers is good. Um, letter stickers, Dollar Tree has these as well too. Um, that kind of thing could definitely be used in your um, planners and so forth. Um, a lot of times, if you do not have a um, laminating machine, the Dollar Tree do have these clear laminating um, slips that you can use when it comes down to laminating your items in your um, craft. So this is something to really look for. And every time I see these, I grab these up all the time. And it comes with five pieces. And like I said, you don't have to use any heat. You just put it together, sandwich it together, and seal it. And once it's sealed, it's sealed. So look for these in your Dollar Tree if you see, see these. Also in the Dollar Tree, um, these are also good to, to use for your dashboard. And these are called the magnifying sheets. Um, I haven't seen these in a long time and I grabbed them when I did see them. And you can use these for, like I said, your dashboard. You can cut them up. You can add your letters or any kind of um, embellish them any way that you want. But they are called the magnifying sheets and they are by Jot. So when you see these, if you see them, like I said, they're very scarce if you see them. Also, another tip um, that I love um, if you're in, again, the Dollar Tree, and if you see these, these are called the chopping mats. And you usually find them in the area where your, um, your dishes are, that kind of thing. Um, these also can be used for your dashboards as well, too. They come in, I believe, a pack of two pieces, and they look like this. And you can cut them up in any shape that you desire. And incorporate them into your planners you can dress them up you can add anything to them and they will be great for using um in your planners or like i said in scrapbooking when i say planners like i said if you're a scrapbooker too and car maker that kind of thing it can be used um, so yeah you see that in the dollar tree grab those i get these all the time so um also um i believe we were talking the last time about cardstock too um, cardstocks um, come in a range, two main ranges, and like this piece right here, this is cardstock, but if you hear it, you hear how flimsy it is. Um, I use these a lot too, um, but there's a difference between this weight and I have a paper pack right here, if you can see, and this weight. They are heavier. And a lot of times when you get them, cardstocks, um, this is not as flimsy as that. You hear the difference? This has a little bit more beef, what I like to say. And sometimes um, when I do my um, planners and stuff, I go for this type of weight. Because like I said, when you turn the pages and stuff, you want it to hold up. You don't want to use something as thin as this because it tears and rips and that kind of thing. And, you know, all your hard work and labor will be... Um, 
done away with. So you tend to you want to use for the heavier weight, that kind of thing. Now, if you're going to uh, laminate this, then definitely you can use this also. Um, sometimes um, the heavyweight cardstock does come um, double-sided, so that kind of thing. So yeah, um, usually I'll go to Michaels and that kind of thing um, and AC Moore. Um, if AC Moore is still there, but um, I used to go to AC Moore and get my paper packs and that kind of stuff. But yeah, this is like double sided. I think this one is double sided cardstock too. So yeah, that's the difference between the two when it comes down to your cardstock. So I wanted to reiterate that. Um, so you'll so you'll know the difference. Um, there again, um, Dollar Tree. When you see stickers like that too as well and I love this one with the ballerina girl you can incorporate that into your planner like I said if you take it and put it against one of those um cut it and use it for that that would be really really cute yep and Dollar Tree has all kinds of all kinds of stickers that you know if it if you like it you know go for it so that's that when it comes down to the paper crafting. Um, I'll come back to that. Um, I just wanted to give you an idea of some of the stuff that I've been doing and have done in a long time. These are these I've had these for a long time, but I'm just going to run through and show you samples of the cards that I've been making too. And like I said, I've been doing it for a minute, and just to ignite, you know, the uh, <laughs> creativity in you. But these are cards that I've done. And this is one. This one is a, should I say, yeah, there you go. This one is a birthday card that I've done. I'm going to run through real quick because I don't want to bear your patience. Here's another one. You know, because like I said, paper crafting and card making and that kind of stuff, you know, pretty much go hand in hand. Here's another one that says happy birthday. And these are empty cards. What I do a lot of time, I make them and I put them up. So that way, you know, when I'm ready for um, a card, and it's somebody's birthday, I don't have to, you know, scratch rock and go just go right in my file and say, hey, I'll use this one for the birthday. And this one is uh, for a baby. I thought that was really cute. No, it's not a baby. This one says, hello. <laughs> it was pink, so I thought baby. That one says, hello. Yeah, these are all made by yours, truly. And this one is a baby card, a welcome baby card. I thought that was cute. Just to give you an idea. Just to, you know, like I said, ignite the... The creative juices in you. I love that one. That one's really, really cute. And there's another one. And this one says, uh, thanks for being you. And this is another one. I think it's so cute. This one's just saying hello. You know, when the neighbors come into town and that kind of thing. I just sometimes like to leave little cards and that kind of things in the box. And this one says, uh, thinking of you with the flowers. And there's another one that says, thinking of you. Yeah. A couple more. And this one said, uh, you've blessed my life in so many ways. Thank you. It's a thank you card. There you go. See, a lot of times, you know, if you, you know, just get into it, you don't really have to go to, <laughs> and buy cards. You can just make your own. There you go. This one says, a little birdie. A little birdie told me. This is a birthday one, too. So, yeah, those are just samples of, of cards that I wanted to share. And also, um, put that there. Um, and scrapbooking. Um, just want. I'm just. I'm not going to go into it because it's, it's it's a lot. And some of these books are, oh my gosh, got to be every anywhere from 30, 30 years old. Because my daughter is like thirty four. I want to say. So these these books are 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 old. <laughs> So I'm just going to hold it up so you can see. But this one right here, these are scrapbooks that I have done. This one right here, this one is um, the one that I did when I actually um, got married. So um, we've been married now for going on 35 years. So this is the one that I made. Um, I won't go into it, but um, I'll show you one photo, one photo <laughs> of, of me so you can see the kind of work that I've done. And this one is a big one because it's got... I mean, from start to finish, from the time that we met. And this is one. This is of me getting my hair done. <laughs> you can see. So, yeah, this is a long time. This is a long time. I think I must have been, <laughs> I must have been 19 years old. So, yeah, time won't permit me to show all of it. But, yeah, just like I said, just to give you an idea. So, this is the, um, this is the wedding uh, scrapbook. And my colors were uh, pink and burgundy were the colors. 
And that's the back. If you can see, there you go. That's the back. So that's the that's the wedding book. That was huge. Okay, another um scrapbook that I've done. This one is of uh my daughter. Uh first child. So as you can see how thick it is. And you know, usually the first child you take gazillion pictures. Much, much, much pictures. Um, let me see if I can show one in here one second without embarrassing her because she may watch my she may watch my video but it is it is a lot it is a lot let's see if i can find i know there's one that's actually my complete favorite this one this one right here so i can hold it up guys oh it's heavy this is the one of her and i think she must have been about uh three years old there you go you can see but yeah scrapbooking is a it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun so that's all of her <laughs> all of her so that's that um i also did another scrapbook and this one is of uh my second daughter this one is of a mom and i love this one too this is this is nice and they tease me like wait a minute how come you know one book is bigger than the other one so i'm like you know what it is what it is <laughs> You know, the first one, usually you just go overboard. The second one, like, okay, we did it. Been there, done that. So, but I did take photos of her. But um, this is, uh, I'll show you the first page that I really love of her. Oh, the drop. Uh, this is the first page that I did of her. And this is pretty much her announcement, her birth announcement. And I love her, uh, her bracelet right there. I thought that was really cute. That's really cute. And I'll show you one more of her. Uh, na 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 na. Yeah, the whole book is really is really really nice. Let me see if I can find something. Uh, that's like I said, non embarrassing. Uh, I think this one is another one of my favorite pages of her that I've done. And that would be right there. Yeah, there you go. You can see, and she's sitting in her little her little walker. <laughs> so that's her, and her name is Amon. So yeah, and actually, actually, um, if you see the purpley paper in the back, that is wallpaper. So as I stated, you know, you can incorporate um, that into your um, paper crafting. So that's another idea. Just like I said, just to just to give you an idea. And the last book I've done, um, I've done a couple more, but I just wanted to mainly show you the 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 more interesting ones. This is the one that I did for both of them. Um, yeah, and I call this their, uh, teenage years, um, probably when they were like 12 and 13. Um, and then this book carried them all the way through their, uh, graduation. Um, so yeah, this is the front and that's the back. It's like a denim, it's like a denim. So our, I won't show everything, but, uh, like this one right here is, uh, I think this was, uh, the birthday one and my oldest daughter she was 16 and my youngest was 13 so I started that for their teenage years you can see right right there that's them but yeah scrapbooking is a lot of fun and then I'll show you one more and then we're gonna let you go so um um yeah uh this one uh I love of her too this is my youngest daughter and this is this page is called the ABCs of uh Amon and I just went through the alphabet, everything um, about her that she liked, that kind of thing. And always incorporate, if you can, in scrapbooking, your handwriting. And your handwriting, you may think, may be the worst, but, you know, it leaves a memory <laughs> for them to look back and show their children. Um, I love this page, too. And this is like uh, Teen Spirit kind of thing. That's a them. Yeah, yeah. one more and then we're gonna really be done but yeah i i really love this book really really love this book um and this one is their uh graduation that's my oldest daughter's graduation and that's the youngest one graduation okay so yeah that's that's pretty much what i what i do that's pretty much what i do so i hope guys that that really give you uh, some inspiration. And that's mainly what this video is all about. 
Um, like I said, you can find a ray, a huge community on YouTube again, on um, uh, some even Facebook. Um, there's community there on uh, Instagram. There's things that you can see on um, Pinterest. Definitely um, check that out too if you're really interested in doing any kind of uh, paper crafting or anything of the sort. So I appreciate you guys being here, and I hope I said something that uh, ignited a interest. Um, so. Thank you guys for being here, watching, being a part of my channel, and start. The biggest thing you can do is start. Start and just let it go. Don't worry about the mess ups. You know, there is no mess up. It's yours, it's your design, it comes from your heart. That's, what all, that's mainly what it's all about. So thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel and watching. Take care, God bless, and I see you guys next time. Love you all. Bye.